you know, it's out there. So lately, um, just like others, no, yung mga nag-achieve talaga ng something. Meron talaga ang mga bagay na magpapatibay sa'yo. So, I experienced this kind of thing na uh, alagay ko pwede rin makatulong sa'yo. So, I hope you'll, you like it or you will watch this video. Yung how to overcome imposter syndrome. Kasi, um, just like you and me or other people, especially yung mga gumagawa ng mga uh, bagay na makakapag-improve at talagang gusto nilang magkaroon na successful life, no? they also experience this kind of thing sa life nila. So, I will give you things also na nag nakatulong din sa akin which is tininan ko din yung mga ibang mga Christian entrepreneur which is confirm, di ba? So, how can we move forward no? para mawala at i-overcome this kind of um, spirit, the imposter syndrome. Okay, so let's dive in into our video. So, in line to that um, topic that we have today is yung verse na to, which is Psalms 139 verse 13 to 14. Sabi niya, For you created my inmost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. So, praise God, no? Yung verse na yon, which is talagang nire-remind tayo ni Lord that we are created in His own image. But again, meron tayong human uh, emotion and so limited. That's why we need to go back always to His Word. So that tuloy-tuloy tayong magkaroon ng lakas, inspiration, magtuloy-tuloy dun sa gustong ipagawa ni Lord sa atin. Okay? So, I want to share these three things na... I've learned also in my life to see this in a positive way. Yeah. So, alam niyo, pag meron ako na, na pagdadaanan ng mga ganitong stage or ganitong mga pangyayari sa life ko or ganitong mga uh, situation sa life ko, I always thank God. Kaya pala sabi sa salita ng Lord na kapag na, nakakadaan ka ng mga pagsubok, ng kahinaan, ng mga bagay na hindi mo maintindihan, you praise God and you ask the Lord to strengthen you so that you can overcome and you can pass through it, okay? So, I want to share this one. Number one, we need to see that we are so valuable that uh, ano man yung ginagawa mo, whether your work or business or your your family, you are here to ano, help and to heal. Ayan. So, pag ganun yung motivation mo, makikita mo sa sarili mo, kasi meron talagang totoo yun uh, sa mga successful people. They have the affirmation and motivational videos or audio na pinakikinggan and totoo naman yun, meron talaga silang psychological na effect. Ako din, personally, uh, pag meron ako mga downtime, no, which is, mas tiningnan ko, mas gusto kong pakinggan yung about the world of God, yung mag-motivate ng souls so and spirit ko talaga. So, one thing that you can learn is you are so valuable. You are, sabi nga dun sa verse na binasa natin, you are fearfully wonderful made by God. So, we are fearfully and wonderful made by God. So, dun ako nag-start na mag ano na, oh nga no, ginawa ko ni Lord, I am perfect in His eye. No? And, uh, kailangan ko makita that lahat ng kailangan ko nasa akin na. So, I need to discover it. Diba? I need to allow the Lord to unleash those things in me so that He can use me more. So, kailangan makita mo that you are so valuable. And you are here to help, to share. No? And then, you can ask always the heart of Jesus. Kaya nga, kapag ganun na yung motivation mo, even mararanasan mo yung uh, imposter syndrome, no? you can move forward. Like me, no? this, this past few days, and talagang sinasabi ng sarili ko, my emotion and my my body that stop ka na, stop ka na. Pero again, I just want to to be encouraged na sabi ko no kasi ayoko na doon. Gusto ko may gawin ako para kayo. I want to make an impact for God. 
So number one that you can have is you know your value. You are here to share, to give no, what you have. Because you are so valuable. You are so fearfully and wonderfully made by God. So that is number one. Okay, so number two naman tayo that I can share you is ito, actually, kailangan number one talaga ito. Pero knowing God is enough. Man, he is enough. And alam mo yung kapag ginawa mo na yung the best mo, pag ginawa mo na yung part mo, no? alam mo na iba backup ka talaga ni Lord. So, for me, one thing that I want to improve into myself is my self-development, my learnings, my skills. Kasi, doon ako tutulungan ni Lord eh, when I do my best, yung mga bagay na kailangan ko. And the things na, kunyari, paano um, maging successful sa lahat ng bagay, hindi ko na yun mag-figure out. Ang gagawin ko lang is to move forward, to do the things that I need to do, and learn that God is so enough for me uh, and to anyone who need Him. Na dadalhin ka na doon sa bagay na talooban niya talaga. So, tingnan mo, no, one of the passages which is si Joshua, diba? ang laki-laki paglaga ng kalaban nila. Is giant sila, pero grabe, di ba? Very courageous. Naging very courageous lang sila because they know that God is with them. And God will never leave them nor forsake them. So, they will go to the promised land, di ba? And sabi niya, Lord, malaki yung mga kalaban namin, marami yung kalaban namin, but you are enough. Just like David, di ba? Si David ganun din. Laki ni Giant, ni Goliath, di ba? But again, dahil alam niya na enough si Lord, no? Ano mang giant yun, ano mang laki ng pangarap mo, laki ng problema mo. Amen. You need to learn and you can be silent and you, you can tell to yourself is, God is so enough. And then, doon ka na mag, mag start na unga pala. No? God is so gracious and He know the things that I will do. No? Lahat ng gagawin ko, alam niya. Lahat ng isipin ko, alam niya. Lahat ng pangarap ko, alam niya. One time, I, I'm praying no, talaga sa room namin and sabi ko, Lord, um, kung ito gusto ko at maganda naman itong gusto ko, alam ko mas gusto mo. Kaya, I let it go, Lord. Alam mo yon, yung let go mo na, no? Kasi uh, ayaw mo nang magcontrol. Napapayak ako kasi merong minsan sa life ko na rinarush ko yung mga bagay, but again, no? Uh, nung sinabi ko kay Lord, sabi ko Lord, alam mo naman to. Alam mo ito yung gusto ko. Kaya gusto ko Lord na karon ng successful uh, business. Kasi gusto ko Lord talaga tumulong. Number one yung sa mga digital people. Tapos sa mga magulang, no? sa church, no? sa mga tao. So, and doon na nag-start yung question na, Lord, am I ready? Yan. So, but again, let's go back. Para pag dumarating yung imposter syndrome, no? you will say to yourself that God is so enough. He will back up you. Gawin mo yung dapat mong gawin. Mag-develop ka. Gawin mo yung the best mo. And if you want to rest, rest. But never stop. No? Huwag kang mag i -stop. You allow the Lord to strengthen you and to go on, to move forward again. And so, again, God is so enough. That is number two tip. And also, in my life, I use that. That I always say, so enough. You are in control. <laughs> okay, so that's our number two. And then number three that I can share to you is you know, stop comparing yourself. Yeah. Stop comparing yourself. Kasi totoo yun, when you compare yourself to others, no, dun ka na magi start na parang papasokan ka na ng inggit, papasokan ka na ng rush spirit, di ba? Yung mga ganun. And di mo na makikita yung, yung mga journey mo na napaka-valuable tapos yung mga journey mo kung ano yung mga tinuturo ng journey mo o yung progress mo, yan. So, I think, for me, natutunan ko tayo, you need to be patient also to yourself na makita mo na, o oh, nga, he's not yet done. So, kung hanggang dyan lang talaga yung pinapagawa ni Lord sa'yo, tanggapin mo kasi talagang apart from God, you can do nothing eh. So, yung gagawin mo talaga, you will not compare yourself to anyone. So, if they have a successful life or if they have something na nangyayari sa life nila na maganda, you need to rejoice with them. But, hindi mo pwedeng i-compare yung sarili mo dun sa journey na. And one thing that I can also share is, it's your choice also. Kasi minsan, pinipili mo din kasi bakit ka mag i sa ganyan. So, 
I remember that your decision today will be your uh, result for tomorrow. Yeah. So you need to also uh, see that you need to decide today. No. Number one, you need to decide today that you will trust God, you will believe on God. Yeah, as a promise, you will be still to God. Diba? Kahit anong mangyari, is everything. But He's, He's in control. So, don't compare yourself to anyone. So, you need to embrace your journey. You need to see your progress also. Ako din, minsan, tinitinan ko rin, oh, malaki na din naman yung progress mo. So, ginaganyan ko rin minsan yung sarili ko. So, pero, again, it's all for the glory of God. It's only by the grace of God. And I am so thankful dun sa understanding na binibigay ni Lord sa akin. But, never dapat nating i-compare yung sarili natin sa iba. Yan. So, you need to uh, enjoy the journey. Okay? So, eto pa. You need to let go and let God. Yan. So, I think those things na uh, na-share ko sa'yo, maka- makatulong sa'yo para matutunan mo na pag may ginagawa ka kasi, talagang minsan kinu-question mo, ba ako nandito? ano ginagawa ko? Meron ba itong saisay? So, you always pray. You always pray to God that He guide you. And also, uh, totoo yung isang sinabi ni, ni Bishop Oriel, kailangan talaga meron tayong mga mentors, especially sa spiritual life natin, so that they can remind us no, uh, the things, uh, uh, why we are here. So, what is our main purpose? And so, why we are here? Why do why we do things? Diba? So, again, if you want to watch more of my videos about purpose, about having confidence in God, so you can subscribe into my YouTube channel and many videos that I can share to you na talagang makakatulong. Kasi personally, ako, marami akong ino-overcome up to this time. But again, I always pray, I always go to God. Kasi alam ko, binigyan niya ako ng abilidad, binigyan niya ako ng wisdom, and I need to, to I need to choose no, to live in that way na talagang pinigyan ako ni Lord. I, I will do something great. And willing din akong magpagamit para sa kanya. So, I hope it inspires you and helps you no, para ma-overcome mo yung imposter syndrome mo. <laughs> or kung wala ka man, I hope in the near future na magkaroon ka ng ganito, it can help you to realize something and then move forward again for the glory of God. And again, if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. And also, if you want to have a idea on how you can have a purposeful online course business this is the best channel for you so don't forget to subscribe okay so god bless okay so i have a free ebook no yung purposeful business so if you want to build your business online or physical man yan so i have a, a free ebook for you so you can download it I will put the link on the description. So it's all totally free for you. So grab it because it's all for you.